Chapter 5, Mishnah 4. The three chambers in the north were as follows. The chamber of wood, the chamber of the exile, and the chamber of hewn stone. Unlike the southern chambers, these were not arranged in a row from east to west. The Mishnah now explains the purpose and arrangement of these chambers. Regarding the chamber of wood, Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov said, I forgot for what purpose it was used. Abba Shoal says it was the Kohen Gadol's chamber, where he would live during the week before Yom Kippur in preparation for doing the Avodah. And it looked like it was behind the other two chambers when viewed from the eastern side of the courtyard, where most people would enter. And the roofs of all three chambers were built at the same height. The second chamber, the chamber of the exile. It was named for the fact that there was a well there that was dug by the Jews who had just returned from exile to build the second temple. And a wheel, or pulley, was placed over the well to lower a bucket into the water. And from that chamber, they would provide clean drinking water for the entire courtyard. The third chamber, the chamber of hewn stone, there, were, there the great Sanhedrin of Israel would sit when hearing court cases, and they would also judge the priesthood by determining whether the new Kohanim and Levim who came to serve in the temple were fit to do so. A Kohen in whom a disqualification was found in his family history would put on a black garment and wrap his head in black as a sign of humility, and he would leave the chamber of hewn stone and go out of the temple. A Kohen in whom no disqualification was found would put on a white robe and wrap his head in a white turban, i.e. he would put on the Kohanic garments. And then he would enter the courtyard and begin to serve, i.e. take place in the Avodah with his brothers the Kohanim. The mission described the practice that was done when all of the new Kohanim who had been inspected that day were found worthy of working in the temple. They would make a day of celebration to thank God that no disqualification was found in the descendants of Aaron the Kohen, Aaron the Kohen. And this is what they would say, Blessed is the omnipresent, blessed is he, for no disqualification was found in the descendants of Aaron. And blessed is he who chose Aaron and his sons to stand and serve before God in the chamber of the Holy of Holies.